Nova 2.0 DEX is finally here to rival Axiom and I'm going to be going over everything in this video and how to set up as well as showing a speed comparison between Axiom and Nova. Spoiler, Nova actually won. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how you can take advantage of the speed that Nova offers and show you how you can get set up in this video. You know, in less than 5-10 minutes, you could be trading on this DEX. Now to go sign up, you need to go and click the link in the description. Um, or you can type up nova.trade slash app million and you will be able to get access to it. It's only in private beta right now. So if you want to get access to it, you have to do it through somebody's link. It doesn't have to be mine, but you have to do it through somebody's link and it's going to be like that for the next couple of weeks anyway. So if you want to get access to it, go check the link in my description or my telegram or just type it up like that. We're going to be put onto a page like this. And you're just going to have to connect your wallet. Now, it might say something different to you depending on when you're actually doing the video. If it asks you to connect your Telegram, make sure you do that as well. But um, if you go through this, you should just be able to click connect wallet and then go over and sign your wallet here. Whichever wallet you want, go and choose one and that will log you in just like that. And you can see all of the new features that they have added here. Now, just before we go and actually show you how you can get the wallet set up, if you are interested in the speed, I had it at, I'm going to have it towards the end of the video. So watch all the way through to uh, see that. But Nova on average was around 15 to 25 percent faster on like buys, sells and charts. But you want to go watch the end of the video to uh, to see that. Anyways, let's actually show you guys how you can get everything set up here. So if you go over, you'll see, well, we have, first of all, a very nice UI. Um, we're going to skip all of that and we're just going to show you guys how you can get your wallet set up, etc. And the benefits that come with uh, this wallet setup. So actually, Nova has something similar. They're going to have a cashback system similar to like what Axiom has where you trade and you will get money back based on the amount that you've traded. So it might be a bit confusing at first, but let's go and get the wallet set up. So if we want to go over here to wallet manager. So now we're in wallet manager here. So you can see this is my trading wallet. Now, if I actually go and open up Axiom 2, I have the same wallet here. Um, and what I've done is actually, so let's say you're trading, you've been trading on Axiom or you've been trading on BullX. What you want to do, I'm going to show you for Axiom, for example, is go into the wallet you want to export or you want to continue trading on, or you can make a new wallet in Nova. You could just go up here and generate a new wallet. However, you can just go over here. So I'm going to say this wallet, for example, you go over here onto your wallet manager, which you click over here, go to account and security and go to wallet manager. Um, but go over here, click export private keys. Now you need to connect your phantom. I'll actually do that right now and blur everything out. So I've connected it and then it'll say my wallet address and my private here key and you can reveal the private key. You want to copy and paste that. You want to go over to Nova Wallet Manager, go to import wallet, uh, enter a wallet name. So you can call this, you know, uh, trading wallet or whatever. And you want to enter your private key, which will, you know, it'll be a bunch of random letters like that. So you'll enter that in, you'll click submit and your wallet, just like this one has shown up, will show up here. You can see I've named it Trading Nova. And you can see your balance and etc. And you'll be able to trade on it just like that. We're done. That's how simple it is. You're able to import it over. Now, let's actually go over onto the Cosmo, which is where you're going to be spending most of your time. This is basically just like the uh, Neo Vision, what we call it. You can see newly created, about to graduate and graduated. We can have filters and stuff like that here. You can see all the launch lab here, bong, pump fun, everything. Um, now, I'm going to actually go over some filters I would recommend having. So it depends. Uh, you can either like completely raw dog the newly created here um, and yeah, just have this as your setup, right? And just have no filters at all. Uh, however, I like to have, um, if I go over to buy market cap, depending on the price of Solana, you need to change this often, but I would probably put it right now with the price of Solana at 5,400. And that's going to filter out most of the tokens that have basically no buys. However, you can put this a little bit higher, like if you want, you know, a, to be more filtered, 5,700 will get rid of more. And that's the only filter I would ever have on newly created. So if you ever have putting in filters, that's it. Of course, you can have some symbols that don't show. So you can put like, you know, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of scammy stuff out there. You can put the, the names in that, that'll be sim familiar as well as you can blacklist developers here. So if there's a dev that's launching lots of coins and it's just annoying and he's ruining charts, every time you're done with trading, go and enter the developer address in here and you'll never get scammed by the same person again or with the same wallet again. That's the only filters I would have a newly created over on about to graduate. Um, I would like to usually put the minimum age or sorry, the maximum age to 60 minutes, sometimes 120. It depends. But if I put it to 60 minutes, you can see it gets rid of a lot of tokens and you're just seeing stuff that's kind of fresh, you know, 28 minutes, 45 minutes, 11 minutes. You can see the volume here and etc. etc. Now we also have uh, these stuff over here. You can see the TikTok videos. 
the axe videos, everything, um, if they're linked to an actual tweet or if they're just linked to, I think here you'll see it's linked to, yeah, look, a search here. So you can't actually see the tweet. But if there is a uh, tweet or, you know, it's a, look here, this, for example, chunky, it is linked to a tweet. You can see it's very responsive. Go right onto it. You can click on, you can just hover over the links and it's perfect, right? Um, as well as showing past X's as well. Stuff like that, really useful. Now, obviously, Nova is just starting out. So there's a few things I think they need to add. Uh, it would be nice to have something besides just saying bundled no or yes, for example. But I think if you're a proper trader and you're not a beginner, this is kind of something that like, you know if it's bundled or not without looking through this. However, I think it would be nice to have uh, something up here that shows uh, something a little bit more accurate. All right. Anyways, uh, filters. Yeah. So I would have it on 60 minutes. Now we can have like a minimum market cap as well. Um, you can and can't have, you know, you can and don't need, you know, you can put it on or put it, not put it on. Um, it depends what you're looking for. If you want to filter out the high market cap ones that are sitting here at the like 40 K range, you can do that. Or you can filter out the low cap market cap ones, or you can even drop the, the minutes. Um, you can also do by insider holding. This is something that's nice. If you want to put like max 30%, um, you might actually need to put it a little lower, maybe like 25, um, to get rid of some of them. Um, or you can have dev holdings lower. Like you can put, like, there's a lot of devs that buy 15, 20% of a coin. So it would be nice to even put like 25% dev holding here. And that will just get rid of all the scammy stuff. I think like the community in general is, uh, you know, they don't like when people buy 20% and you know, it's, it's more likely that you need to put it here. However, you can push, put it here to get rid of them and never have a dev that's holding that much, right? Graduated, I wouldn't change anything. Um, maybe you can put a minimum market cap. However, I don't think so. I like to have it there just so I can see what is like going on in the trenches right now. You know, what is hot? I like to scroll down even the stuff that's completely dead. It's still useful to know the market cap that like it ran at some point, right? And you can see the volume. So I would never keep that. I just use this graduated tab to see the top three or four if something has graduated. And then the rest of the time, I'll scroll here to understand what's happening in the market conditions. Okay, now Nova is probably going to change a lot since when you actually see this video, depending on when you see it. But they do have a wallet tracker here. Um, I'm going to show you guys how you can get that set up. So you can go again to Axiom here. And if we go to trackers and we go to wallet manager, you can just export all your wallets and import them into here. Now, again, I have everything imported, but you go to here and you can just import it. And you can see all this. Now, um, I have all of these wallets already imported. You uh, might have wallets set up in Axiom Pro as well. However, if you don't, join my Telegram. I'm going to, like, probably after this video or when this video is posted, I will make, like, a pay spin with all of these wallets that I have added. So even if you have, you know, a bunch of wallets um, from Axiom, you know, you may as well go into my Telegram and just add the other wallets to it. You know, it's completely free, right? Um, Add the wallets too and you know maybe it'll help you out with trading as well you know these wallets are nice to have it's nice to know who's trading um so just add some of these wallets to your own thing and yeah you're gonna you're gonna thank, thank yourself in the future i don't think there's a cap at the moment there used to be a cap um on beta when i was trying it out but now that i think they've removed the cap um i would also mute um all of them uh so you're not getting alerts i don't like that personally but yeah now, Axiom does have a monitor feature here. If you just click on the monitor thing and uh, pop it out when it comes here, it does have a monitor. Now, right now, it does not have the features to add unlimited Twitter accounts, um, but this is still in beta. Once it's launched to public in about two weeks time, it should have these accounts. So if you guys want to use a Discord bot or something like that in the meantime, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. But yeah, you can have a monitor here. And once uh, this is actually working, it's just that uh, it, it has it. Uh, I don't only have a couple of accounts added on. Um, if I see here, you can see I only have a couple of accounts that I've put in. Um, but whenever someone tweets, it will show here to uh, post. Actually, you know what? I think I have myself added. So if I go onto my Twitter and I go reply to someone. But you can see I just went and replied to Alan here. Uh, and you can see that it went through here. It's actually a really nice UI. You can see comment here. Um, but when they get this fully fetched out and, you know, you can see uh you know hundreds of accounts and they're all up here and get it all properly done it's gonna look a lot nicer but i do have a pay spin um for it so guys join my talent join my telegram again i'll update the pay spin when this goes live so just go ahead and click the join button on my telegram i'm giving you all this shit for free so yeah go ahead join that and then you're gonna have the accounts once once it's able to be put in you'll have the accounts here i'll personally 
ask the Nova guys and make sure that they get this done before it goes public launch, right? Now that's the Cosmo section. Obviously you have quick buy up here and all that lovely stuff as always. Uh, we have our quick buy and quick sell settings here. We have the quick buy, quick sell, as well as buy, sniper, and sell. Now, I'm not going to go into the, the the fees on the quick buy stuff right now. Um, I'm going to go into this, the settings here. and I'm just going to click onto a random coin and go through it. Um, because I'm not going to go through all that in this video. I'll make another video if you guys want as well. Do you guys Would you guys be interested in like a full breakdown? Axiom versus Nova versus Bullax, you know, comparing all the DAXs. Would you guys be down for that? I can maybe make a video and compare everyone's speeds, everyone's everything, all the features, etc. Uh, anyways, we're on Axiom, or sorry, we're on Nova here on the um, on the chart, and I'm going to show you guys. You can see the advanced settings. If you click down on this, you'll see the uh, settings. So I like to have buy settings 25% slippage, priority 0.025, and buy tip 0.025. It may actually cross from um, your Telegram settings. I know I asked them to do that, so. I, because these are my settings here i'm pretty sure these are these get um whenever you log in and connect your telegram which you do with my link um you do uh you, i think i'm pretty sure all your settings come over but i'm not sure but if you, they don't these are the settings i use i think they're great i don't have mev protection on because uh nova is great i never get mev ever on low market cap stuff as well as here i'll put thir slippers of 35 percent and i'll have my buy and priority fee here like this just the exact same um, now you can actually, I'm pretty sure you can turn off your tip for this, but sometimes I like to, uh, like you can turn off the tip, I think it is, when you have met protection off, and it doesn't make a difference to your transaction speeds if you want to save money on the, the tip. However, there is times where I will want to put on the map protection on, and I don't have time to go and change my tip like this. So I like to just keep it like that, uh, right? You can also have an auto tip so that you can, if you keep map protection on all the time and you will still maintain the fastest transaction possible with the auto tip, which is something I think you can do if you're trading higher market cap coins, like over 500K, and you're trading with like, you know, one to 10 Solana you're buying in with, okay, or selling. I think uh, that is where you should have med protection on and auto tip on. Okay, well, anyways, that is basically it. Uh, you can see the, you know, this is a, this is a dead coin. Can I find something that is, is nice? Oh, look, the chunky thing is doing well. Now, uh, unpaid dex, um, I haven't really gone into through this uh, to see if this is good. You can see dev tokens. This is the other stuff that he's done. This is really cool. Top traders here. You know, I love the UI like this. You can actually uh, zoom out. I have, I have my thing zoomed in a bit so you guys can see it better. But if you zoom out with like control scroll or go up to uh, here it is and, you know, click on this, um, it will actually scroll out for you and you can see more or see less, depending where you like. This is probably how I would like to trade because it just shows a bit more of everything, but it's up to you completely. Then if we just go over on, we click on to like, I'm just going to do 0.5. So buy, this is probably a shitter coin, but uh, again, we'll just click on this. You can see absolutely instant. That was an absolute instant buy. We got, we got like, it went really quickly right there. If we go to trades, you can see, uh, you can see everyone's trades that is happening right now. You can actually sort it by uh, the age, which is something that's amazing because you can then see who was the first transaction, something that was never that like, i don't know why this has not been implemented to other sites because this is the best thing ever to see it all right this coin's nuking right i'm not i was just trading this to to show you guys the speed but maybe we can see if this pumps or it nukes actually i want to see if i can sell on a nuke or a a buy right so if this goes up a good bit um or it dumps a bit next time i'm going to try and sell on that candle to show you the speed of when you're selling like no, there you go so there you go i just sold on that buy candle you can see how quick that was. I, I, I'm not going to go through it and, and show you the frames of it, but that felt very quick. And you can see as soon as I saw that buy candle, the responsive chart and everything like that, I clicked that sell button. It went through, you know, this is the highest, you know, if I'm buying and selling at this point here, it's really easy to get a good fill, but it's very hard for a good decks to get a good buy or sell fill here. Now, if there was more volume, it might struggle a little bit more, but in my in my in my experience, Nova's did pretty well whenever it's been um you know a massive buy like this. Like look at that, you can see it goes all the way up, and then if it goes all the way down like that, if you looked at it and we're looking at the responsive chart, you probably were going to be able to sell on this candle here. So I actually did my own testing, but Nova actually went out and did their own testing here, which was a little bit more official. So I'm going to go over that. In my testing, I mainly found the charts itself were much faster than Axiom. The buys were a little faster, but the sells were basically 
pretty similar. But anyways, let me go over some of these things. I'm going to go over them pretty quickly, but you can see new creation loading speed. This is one of the most important things, right? You can see here, um, I'm going to mute this actually so I don't get copyrighted or whatever. But um, yeah, look, you can see here's a 2.5. They're launching a coin. Let's see first, second, third. Axiom is last. I think they they do this again. Let's just check. Yeah, first, second, third. So Axiom was second here. But you can see Bullex was last and Photon um, at there. But Nova was second. Nova was first on this thing. Now, obviously, you know this might be biased. I mean, they might be cherry picking examples here. But what I would just recommend for you to do is just try it out yourself and see what you think. Because honestly, you can tell if it's faster just by trading. You can see here's a wallet tracker speed test. It seems Photon won this, but Nova came in second. You can see, look, Photon came first, Nova came first. Let's see any more. Um, it looks like Photon is coming first most of the time. Maybe they have the best wallet tracker. I don't use Photon, so whatever. But um, yeah, it seems Photon's winning this mostly, and Bullex is far behind. And yeah, but I mean, just test this out. I mean, there's no harm in, in signing up and trying it out. In my opinion, I think the buys are much faster. Um, I've I've used them and I think the buys are faster. I always used Nova whenever it was a Nova click and I know a lot of people did because it was just way faster than Bullex or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you can see uh, if they're going to do this in 0.25. Um, now this is a kind of a scuffed way to do the example, but you can see first and then there. So, you know, there's a, there's a decent difference in between it. I got something somewhat similar for the buys um, when I was testing out, the cells seem to be pretty much the same. I wonder if they'll actually do the cells here now. Yeah, so I mean, just just try it out. You can see first, second, this was pretty close. But, you know, that little bit of speed and having, you know, responsive charts is the difference. Me. It is the difference, you know, that can make the difference for sure. Um, anyways, yeah, sorry. I just wanted to record this bit at the end because, you know, some new news came to light. But uh, yeah, you know, go try it out for sure. Uh, link in description, of course. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.